What's up, guys? This is AI for Jewelers, presented by Jewelers Advantage. Jewelers have questions about AI. We're here to answer them. My name is Jesse Corby. I will be your host. And in this video, we are going to talk about how you can connect AI tools together to gain even more awesome power out of the tools. So on the screen here, we have Leonardo da Vinci with awesome godlike power in the jewelry industry and we'll get into exactly why we're talking about leonardo da vinci in a moment first you'll want to be aware that we are going to be using jewelers advantage ai this is built into chat gpt plus so that we can do image generation you can think of this as a finely tuned model to help stay on the rails with the best practices of a jewelry business if we're going to use ai in the jewelry industry we have to be able to actually make products and create a brand and develop everything about the business to make it work. So what I did was I started with the product conversation starter and got to this point here where we have this beautiful engagement ring with a rose motif. Now it's important to note how we're getting there. Of course, we have the conversation starter for product. This is going to help you figure out how to develop any type of product in the jewelry industry across any style segment. I simply said bridal and the AI started consulting me on how we can develop various bridal type products. And we got to a point where I just said, let's do high end yellow gold, incorporate 3D roses in the design of the band. And the AI continued to get us to where we need to be to be able to create this design. So I said, create an image of this ring. I just copied and pasted one of the ideas and through the power of AI, we created this image. Now, how can we take this a bit further? The question is, if we wanted to go faster, if we wanted to get more options and see a lot more of what we could be working with, we could either just run the prompt over and over again and maybe sit here and watch this repopulate several times and curate down. That's always going to be necessary if you're using AI for design because we can't expect the AI to get it perfect every time. But maybe we want to go faster Maybe we want to get a different look, or maybe we want to elevate into a tool that is known for only AI images and so on. So if we wanted to do that, I simply said, create a detailed AI image prompt for this ring design. And by doing that, we're making it so that we can use Jewelers Advantage in ChatGPT, as well as your favorite image generator while also staying on the rails with the types of creative concepts and brand identities that we need to adhere to if we're going to build a real successful business and get the most out of AI for building a business. So this created the prompt. As you can see here, once I have this, I can copy and paste this and throw this into any tool that I would like to use. So I was thinking, let's go over to Leonardo AI, our good friends at Leonardo AI, and let's try this out. Leonardo is an AI image generator that is fairly well known and it is becoming popular in things like fashion and various other storytelling mediums. So we can see that we have a few less constraints with a tool like Leonardo when it comes to branding and things like that. So we've got cosmetics, we've got sneakers, we've got kind of a high fashion thing. And then we've also got any type of conceptual branding storytelling that we can use as well. So Leonardo is very cool. It can do a real-time canvas. It's got real-time generation, AI video with motion. We can just do regular image generation, upscaling, canvas editing, and more. So to jump in and just make this a lot faster, what I did was I took this prompt, as you can see from this thread, and copied and pasted in, used some of the presets. I made sure that we turned off prompt enhance so that I could control my experiment a little bit more. So you'll see that we can turn off the enhancement of a prompt and just use exactly what we have here. And Leonardo also has some cool presets. This is a new one at the time of this recording called Leonardo Phoenix. And we can also do things like affect the quality of the image, the dimensions of the image, and so on. And even the number of images that we want to create. So if we're here to try to curate designs, I could have either sat here and rerun this prompt, which is running off of Dolly, if you're in ChatGPT, but maybe we want to cross-pollinate the engine of how the AI is being created, and we want to see what it would be like in something powered by stable diffusion. 
As you can see, Dolly and Stable Diffusion are pretty comparable engines. This might sound kind of techy to you if you're in the jewelry industry and you're not super into this kind of thing. Just be aware that there's just a few main engines that are driving these image generators. And then it's just a matter of what is the specialized use of the tool from there. So Leonardo is very, very focused in on just image designing and editing. And I wanted to get a different look and also be able to drum up lots and lots of good designs very quickly and then curate down rather than have to wait to create the image over and over again. So in under two minutes, I got eight choices and I happen to think that this one is pretty cool. So what if I want to work with this image and still make that function for a jewelry business? This is where there needed to be a riddle to be solved because just because you can create this beautiful image, there is a fair criticism in the market of AI for the jewelry industry where people say, well, how are you going to make the piece? Now, because of the prompt coming from Jewelers Advantage, the art and science of jewelry making is going to be adhered to. So there's nothing in this image that's crazy and that you could never make. It is worth noting that with some AI tools, if you're not being mindful of the requirements of manufacturing and jewelry, you can get some crazy stuff that would be impossible to make. So we're trying to actually make products that we could use in a real business that we could actually make and sell and create a brand and a line of products that we could sell. So say we're working with this image or any of the others, what I would do then is if I want to bring this back into reality and make this a more functional strategy, what I would do is I would take the image, drop it in. I already had this prepared. And then I would say, tell me what you see. And at this point, we just let the AI think. And it is going to be referencing the previous information from the thread. So anything that is in this thread is going to be taken into account as we continue to talk about this piece. But by dropping this image in and simply saying, tell me what you see, I have effectively connected Leonardo AI into Jeweler's Advantage, which is in ChatGPT in our free version. So from here, we just have to know how are we going to actually make this piece? I have a prompt prepared that I like to use in this situation. I'll make sure that you guys get this at the end. What I've got here is something that's going to help us come up with the actual manufacturing steps. So I would copy this prompt under custom project design and deposit for product creation. I can copy and paste this into here. And I'm just going to need to be aware of the size. If this is a three carat diamond, it is probably going to be around nine millimeters wide. So let's assume that the width, it's an estimate is eight millimeters. I'm going to say, assuming a size of eight millimeters width in the band, create a cost estimate for materials, labor, timetable of production, include the roles required to manufacture the piece, including CAD and 3D printing, write a list of production steps for project management to manufacture the piece, starting with a 3D depth map into CAD, into 3D printing, and so on. Help me establish a tentative retail price. Include a cover letter requesting a deposit of $1,000. And then I would just click send. And we have our estimates starting to come together. So be aware that if you are getting a dollar figure in here, this is an estimate. You have to still be a professional in the industry and understand how these things work. But what this is doing is saving you time. It's actually getting you something that you could copy and paste into a Google Doc and start to work with if you were going to be sending this production and working with a CAD designer, working with somebody that can specialize in 3D printing, Hopefully you have a bench jeweler that you can hire, or you can do that labor. Hopefully you have somebody that can be a stone setter, or you can do that labor and so on. This is saving you time. It's not necessarily supposed to give you the perfect estimate. You're going to have to think about this and take into account the gold price of the day and the cost of your materials and who you work with and all of that. This is just meant to make you go faster and be more organized. So if you're a beginner, this is going to keep you really, really standardized in the best practices of what you could do to go create this piece. And then we do have a cover letter that you could send to dear customer. And we are requesting, we kindly request a deposit of $1,000. So it's using nice professional language as well. And then this is helping us get to a point where we could actually sell this product. 
right? Do you guys see this? You can actually sell this now by using Jeweler's Advantage with Leonardo AI to answer the question of how are you going to make the piece? We have the beautiful design. How are we going to make it? This is how we're going to make it. So if you want to do this too, you can head over to jewelersadvantage.com. We'll send you four AI tools and all of the launch links so that you can use the same tools that I use. And we will also include the prompts that we can use across all functions of the business, starting with your own founder strategy, right on up to product creation, things like developing your brand. We've got sales and service and lots and lots of cool stuff in here. Again, that's jewelersadvantage.com and that is free. We will send this to you for free and then you can start doing cool things like connecting various AI tools together. So that's Jewelers Advantage built into ChatGPT being used with Leonardo AI to speed up the process, maybe get a different look of your products, maybe have more control over the design process because Leonardo focuses on design only. So it's very cool once you start to connect these tools together. So again, my name is Jesse Corby. I'm the creative director here at Jewelers Advantage, and this has been another episode of AI for Jewelers, and we will see you in the next one.